Hello guys, Rad here from Rad Pizarot and I do want to let you know that the extended monthly reading which focus in depth into a career and uh, relationship life for the representative side uh, sign are now available for just as little as uh, one dollar. So if you want to um, if you want to go more in depth for your star sign and you like my readings in the way I read, you can uh, purchase these extended videos on my website, uh, either going there uh, from your browser or uh, just, you know, visiting the link that is displayed down below in the description of this video. And uh, <clears throat> that way you can purchase those videos. So it's like getting a, a two additional readings to the general reading of the month which is totally free the general one and it is on my youtube channel and um, for those who are more prone you know to know everything they can purchase for just three dollars their sun moon and ascendant sign and that way they are gonna have six reading to kind of like piece together and to and to obtain the biggest picture ever for what is yet to come for them into this representative month and the price is that low because I want to show you um, my appreciation for your loyalty and support. And in case you want to uh, support the channel furthermore, that is the way you do it. So with that being said, I just wish you best of luck and please enjoy your monthly general tarot reading. Rod signing out now. See you next time. Bye. Hello Virgo. Rad here from Radko uh, Tarot and this is going to be a monthly general tarot reading for you guys July 2018. So we got a, a four position spread and the first position expresses up uh, the theme or the topic of uh, your month. The second position shows up the challenges you have to face during that month. Third position uh, shows up the positivity of the month or what the month has to offer to you in a positive way. And last one is known, last position is known as the final outcome or the result of the rest three positions. So as uh, this is an enhanced spread, that is going to, we are going to use two cards per position. And so let's see what we have for the topic of the month. That is going to be the King of Wands, accompanied with the uh, Four of Cups. So for what it seems, someone, uh, because the King of Wands plays a role as a person in, um, in your life, and that person is going to be a topic for you, the team. All right, and what this person is going to do here, having the Four of Cups next to it as a catalyst, is that that person is going to... Um, drive you off the steadiness of your routine or is going to um, e e exert a, an excited enter exciting enterprises in your life, either career, either relationship or maybe both. The bottom line is that with, with that guy or with that woman, because that could be a woman, you can have a, a such a quality time and a, such a tremendous experience, pleasant, pleasant experience, because these people, they usually have the knack for life, you know, and they also uh, are always capable to maintain the positive attitude attitude into others, not allowing the spirit of others to go low. Or in other words, when you spend time with that guy, it could be a co-worker, you know, it could be a potential lover, etc, etc. You will never feel despondent around them. And not just only that, it will be very beneficial for those who lost purpose in life. For example, you could have, uh, going, you could have been going through a um, severe breakup into your romantic life, you could have lost your job recently, etc, etc, but you involving yourself with that person, uh, they will again ignite the, uh, the will for you to find something even better than what you have lost recently, in case this is what you're going through right now. But let's see the challenges that you need to face during the month, that is going to be the Five of Cups, with the ten of uh, with the ten of wands, so the challenges are some ongoing um, ongoing responsibilities you need to take uh, to take care of, or responsibilities that are uh, taking over from probably previous previous months. Very. Um, 
you know, uh, very accurate could be as well that that could be either a promise or a task that you have taken a couple of months and you have just forgot about it, you know, or as I said, yeah, you have you, you have promised something to somebody and you forgot about it and uh, they now want you to fulfill that promise or a favor in return, etc, etc. And uh, this, challenge is, this challenge is totally disconnected with that guy here, all right? That challenge is more like uh, coming to anointment and aggravation from the situation that you could have uh, such a quality time outside of it but now god damn it why did you have to give that promise or why did you um, need to return that favor in this very moment because these couple of cards here uh, when they fall together they're associated with um, kind of like you know fulfilling some uh, fulfilling your word uh, you know, so you can keep your dignity and as well uh, kind of like pleasing somebody because you have not you don't have other option available which is associated with promise given all right and uh, when we have the ten of wands uh, playing that particular role especially with uh, the five of cups that speaks for kind of like an additional burden you have to carry on through the month so it's kind of like something peripheral but in the same time you cannot just say no I won't do it you have to attend to it and as I said we'll stay as an additional burden but these couple of cards are rather more milder and there is no doubt that you will be able to overcome it with ease uh, as long as you kind of like put the toils behind it and toils is not even the correct word I should use more like the word the work behind it all right and uh, the, on the positive end that challenge because challenges could be as well positive with the positive end that could clear you some room for um, new or uh, awesome opportunities moving on afterwards so you can make an impression into somebody that they have doubted you for that particular task previously and now let's see the positivity of the month here we do have the ace of pentacles with the magician so that these couple of cards speaks for <laughs> uh, these couple of cards. How can I express myself? Um, it's really they speaks that uh, you will be able to uh, at this particular month you will be able to create with a as little as possible means necessary. Uh, we do have in my language we do have a, a certain sentence for that. We do have a. Um, you know words but uh, I don't think that the English uh, in the English language they kind of like be will be understood correctly but let's say that out of nothing you will be able to create something now the magician with the ace of pentacles does point that you will not rely on someone to hold your hand even though you will have your faithful supporter here as the topic of the month just on the contrary the positivity here shows that you will accept nothing as granted and just on the contrary we're because you will really show uh, how much worth you can put into that particular um, into that particular task and into that particular relationship if you want to say it that way and because of it people will see your true sight and that is really fantastic as the magician is liked and loved and cherished for what the magician is and based on the ace of pentacles here there will be no uh, prerequisites behind it people won't judge you based on biased understanding all right they will just accept you for what they see straight away right in the moment very favorable uh, cards for mating very favorable cards for attracting people in case you are alone into one relationship to present yourself as a uh, much better person of what people were used to see you or kind of like much more cheerful you know much more loving etc etc the bottom line with these couple of cards is that if you have screwed up something recently with somebody or with a particular project well you will not find a, a better way or a better time to fix that in, in in additionally it is because you will have this guy behind you all right or this woman because they will not just only help you but remember they will maintain your positive outlook and as well it is not excluded that they will give you exactly the key you need as an idea or as a strategy to resolve those things you may have failed in the past and as a result of all that we do have the Empress 
So you're finding yourself at the end of the month in a very comfortable position here. The Empress is about personal comfort, it's about maturity, and it is about very well found decisions in a certain field or into one relationship, not to mention that this card is as well associated with pregnancy. But the Empress is also about planning, guys. So you have to plan further how your life should continue. And that should be based not on the challenge here, that toil you had behind your back, but on the uh, the fact that you could do something others couldn't. This is what I mean being able to do from nothing something, all right? So for what it seems, if this is relating to your career, you will become very valuable asset and an exceptional asset, if I may say it that way. And people here will entrust you with, uh, with a lot of, um, how can I say it, with a lot of... Um, of decision making, all right, because they will see you mature, not just mature enough, but enough, but professional enough, you know, to take the right decision for them. And then that card is accompanied with the Five of Wands, which speaks that your routine will start speeding up even faster and even further. There will be a lot of around turns, and as I said, decision making, this is where you will have to make it swift, swiftly, all right? You will have not much of a time to make up your mind either into your career or either into your relationship. That could be as well, you know, a, a proposition from somebody uh, to make a relationship in which you do have very little time to make up your mind. But what is important here with the Five of Wands is to have much more open, uh, to be much more open-minded than usual, Virgos, because the Five of Wands is about the unpredictable. It is, it is about the surprise that comes in your way and one needs to take full advantage of it. That being said, uh, my final words for that month, guys, are to just, you know, attach yourself to this positive guy or woman here, do what you have promised, and just have much more sovereignty, a personal iron will, you know, and, and a personal independence as well, personal confidence. Uh, <clears throat> and at the end, when you are about to make certain decisions here based on your profile throughout the month, you know, you have to face them with maturity and you need to breed confidence uh, uh, when you make them. Because as I said, um, dynamic routine, certain turnarounds, people may have their doubts, but you cannot afford that. You need to be strict with your, uh, with your call. And once you make that call, there won't be any turning back. So you have to be mindful of that. You need, this is what it means, um, maturity. So with that being said, Virgos, this was your uh, monthly tarot reading for July 2018. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And in case you are interested in a private reading with me, everything you need to know about it will be listed down there in the description of this video. Rod signing out now. See you next time. Bye.